Hello, sports fans, sports betters, and YouTube Nation. John here with Rigget Picks. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Monday. It's already been a crazy Monday for me. Um, my card's out. One, one has already cashed. Drake, first half. Um, they're, they're absolutely smashing right now. Uh, it's Monday, March 21st, 2022. March is almost gone. We are getting so close, so much closer to baseball. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. But we're going to finish out the NCAA in strong fashion been red hot it's been a great month yesterday had a little slip up uh things in hockey didn't go my way things in the ncaa uh, only partially went my way it was two and two in the nba and then hockey just I, I got drubbed had some teams in reg and three ways you just lost outright or did not score at all life goes on you can't win them all but uh you know we're gonna jump right back into it overall it's been a smoking month i'm up over 1500 bucks for just twenty five dollars, you can jump join the Patreon. Um, highly suggested for next month. If you guys want, you can hit me up on my email if you want to work out a deal for the rest of the month. I'm I'm open to that. It's not it's not a big deal at all. I'm pretty easy to work with. Right now, we're going NBA. We got the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Charlotte Hornets. The last ten head to head, the Pelicans are seven and three versus the Hornets. The last time they played, the Hornets scored 142 points. They won the game 142 to 120. 260 points were scored in that game. Brandon Ingram is out. We know that. Um, that's a big hit, but they got C.J. McCollum. And C.J. McCollum, when he's the guy, he can take over and be the guy. It's not it's, So it's not as big of a deal, Ingram being out, as it would have been without McCollum. Simple as that. They're a better team with McCollum. Um, I was a big Portland, you know, Portland guy, and McCollum was a big part of Damian Lillard's success there. The Scotty Pippen of the MJ, if you will. But Pelicans on the road this season, they're 30 and 41 on the season, 14 and 21 on the road. The Charlotte Hornets are 36 and 35 on the season, 18 and 17 at home. So they play about 500 ball at home. Uh, the 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 score in the last 10 head to head matches, the average score is Charlotte 115. New Orleans Pelicans 115. This game is going to be a good game. Um, the, the over under right now sits at 233 and a half, which um, that's a lot of points. But the last time out, they scored 262. So I don't see why it wouldn't go over that. I think there's going to be some points scored in this game. Um, I think the Pelicans plus six is worth taking a shot at. Um, just looking at the past head to head experiences, I don't think Charlotte's going to come out and pace them again. I don't think that's going to happen two times in a row. So, your official Ricketts hardwood pop pick for this game. I'm going to go with the New Orleans Pelicans, plus six. It's at minus 110. I'm just going to put half a unit on it. That's what we're going to roll with for the day. Hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you have not already. Put a comment in the comment section. Let me know who you got for the day. It's a, uh, it's a lighter day on Monday with sports, but there's still money out there to be made. Let's go make some money. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching this video. And most importantly, good luck with your bets.